Jesse, what are we talking about today? Huh? You gonna tell the people what we're talking about today? No? Okay, I guess I will. Hey guys, today we're talking about socialization. See? <laughs> What is socialization and how do we do it? Well, it's exactly as it sounds. We are going to teach our dog how to be social properly, respectfully. Much like, I don't know like, uh, about you guys, but I was taught how to greet other people respectfully. I say, hi, my name is Josh, and I, give my, I put my hand out for a handshake. I was taught that. That wasn't something I was born knowing how to do. Now, you know, just like humans, if, 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 if a dog greets another dog disrespectfully they do that to the wrong dog that dog's going to want to correct them put them in their place nip and that's how it's done we see this a lot with puppies trying to go up too hot and heavy and initiate play with an elderly dog or an older dog who's not in the mood and that dog simply says no with their teeth and they get corrected and the next time they come up on that dog they learn to go slow and low which is respectful and that keeps them from getting nipped so today's all about that I'm going to make this video, video to show you some very respectful and, and, and consensual moments in our yard that were, that were good play moments. And I'll also point out some moments that we had to intervene so that you can see the body language. You can see firsthand exactly the things that we look for and the things that we, we need to interrupt and, and, and redirect. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so right here we got what looks like an average group of dogs playing, except we got... Kaiser and Henry playing here. And they're playing a little rougher than we would let dogs play normally at our board and train. And that's because just like two little boys playing, it starts off innocent, but once they get too rough because they don't know each other that well, they end up getting into a little bit of a scuffle. As you can see right there, it was a little too much for Kaiser and he snapped. Now I understand that didn't look too horrific or anything, but that's because you know we got two pretty gentle dogs, pretty soft dogs. Imagine if we allowed this to go on with a dog who was playing with Kaiser that was a little bit more dominant and Kaiser snapped like that and the other dog says what did you just say to me and snaps back and now we got a scuffle on our hands so generally this type of play this rough rumble and tumble and grabbing each other and pinning each other this is reserved for dogs who have a history they know each other very well we know that they both have a similar play style they get along and neither of them are are dominant or looking for a fight and and yes there's dogs that are absolutely that are going to be able to play like this without issue. But in our play yard, we try to have them be as respectful as possible. So when they're playing, we don't want any rumble and tumble. We don't want any grabbing onto the skin like this because one dog can finally have enough and snap. And if the other dog doesn't back away, it'll snap back. And that's how scuffles start. Now, what does a proper greeting look like for dogs who haven't met before? Well, we're about to see it. On the left, we have Everest, and on the right, we have Remy. Everest is a very insecure dog out in the lawn, and she doesn't like to be approached fast. Now, Remy likes to usually, he, he approaches dogs really fast, but since he came to our board and train, we taught him how to come up on a dog that he hasn't met and doesn't have a relationship with, and how to do it respectfully, slow relaxed and not asking too much out of the dog. Now this opens Everest up and this allows her to feel comfortable around him so she's greeting him. She's sniffing him and watch if you can see she's going to allow him to sniff her without walking away. This is very respectful. He waited for consent and now she's allowing him. So this is a proper way for dogs to greet. The energy is extremely low and they're just getting to know each other. They're not jumping all over each other. Now if Remy came up too hot and heavy, Everest is likely to snap actually. Correct him for that. So he's doing really well. We're really impressed with his choice here. And that really made Everest feel more comfortable in the lawn. Another concept that you should be aware of before socializing your pup is the third wheel syndrome, right? I know I've been on a date before and I brought a friend along with me back in high school and the date just didn't feel right. Me and my girlfriend uh, couldn't express ourselves authentically with our friend sitting there, you know? So this, the same thing kind of happens when dogs are playing. It's best if they play in couples. 
rather than in groups. And you'll notice this happens naturally with balanced dogs. There'll be a dog and a dog playing, and then a third dog might come up and try to throw off that dynamic, try to steal the play. We generally discourage this because it usually doesn't end well. Either one, it just, those two dogs ignore that dog and he walks away. Two, um, it kind of stops the play and nobody's having a good time anymore. Or three, it turns into multiple dogs playing and it can get carried, uh, carried away very quickly. So you'll notice in this video how, how, how nice it looks when, when the dogs are just playing in couples. So if your dog's playing with another dog and they're enjoying themselves and they're being very appropriate, if another dog tries to come in and, and, and like hop onto the pile, discourage that. It's not gonna, nothing good's gonna come out of that. Okay, so as we can see here, we got Coda, the little French bulldog, playing with Devlin, the Chesapeake Retriever. There's four dogs in the lawn right now. We got, there's Kaiser, and Blue's hanging around too. Now watch, they all want to play, and they're going to figure out very soon, they're going to they're gonna find a partner to play with. So let's watch them figure it out. There you go, Kaiser's coming to check out. Oh, there you go, Devlin and Coda again, and Blue gets in the mix here. She wants to play, Kaiser wants to play. Everybody wants to play. But if they were all to play, all four of them play at the same time, it would just kind of be a hog pile and it would get out of hand really fast and actually wouldn't be that fun for them. So watch what they do naturally here. There they go. Oh yeah, they're figuring it out. Ah, there they go. Now they're off to the races here. They each found a partner. And now they're both all able to play in a very controlled and fun manner, which is much better than a big hog pile where somebody could get hurt and get stepped on. Coda's a little guy. Look at them, they're having fun. So there you have it. Those were some moments from the other day that I picked to, to talk with you guys about in our social yard. Uh, when dogs are first meeting for the first time, we keep everything calm. We're not encouraging play. After they've gotten to know each other after a few sessions, they might open up organically and start playing, and we will allow this, but we'll keep the intensity low. So remember, we want the intensity to be appropriate. We don't want it to be so hot and heavy that we couldn't calm any of them down with just one word. So I want the intensity to be low enough that if I said, hey, or no, all of them checked in with me and relaxed a little bit. This helps us dictate what's, what's going on out in the yard so everybody is advocated for. So take these tips and now, You'll be able to see this when you go and, and, and socialize your dogs with other balanced dogs. You'll be able to see these types of behaviors and, and, and what's a little too intense and what's more appropriate and, and the third wheel thing. You know, you'll see that happen all the time. It's best to try to let them play in couples and then go and just advocate for your dog and make sure, you know, I'm not saying dog park. I'm saying a group of balanced dogs that, that, that listen to their owners, that can take direction and let them build relationships that will last a lifetime.